So at this time, I have uh, actually three licenses uh, available in my network. And uh, if I go, if I want to go the manual way, as we try at the beginning of the video, I could open a shell here, a command line window here, and try and drop space and try and drop the FLW file that I want to simulate. You will notice that in this case the particles are totally empty. So if I just hit enter here, now that I have my uh, real flow nodes correctly licensed, here you are. The simulation is running in the uh, command line prompt and the particles are currently being created in the particles folder. Uh, more than that, if I launch the uh, RealFlow GUI application and I open the, uh, the FLW file, I'm just going to Alt-U to update the timeline cache. And here you are. These, all of these are the particles that are currently being created. Here we are on the frame 23, 24, 25. So every time I Alt U this, I'm going to get the new particles. Okay. So this is the basically this is the the manual way or the traditional way. But right now uh, we are going to try a couple of uh, scenes using the the job manager sending the the job through the through the network. It's important that only one access manager must be running per network, otherwise we will incur in conflicts. You can have it actually installed in every single machine if you want in, in the network, but only one license manager must be running. And the rest of them, if installed, must be totally stopped. Okay, so let's pick up where we were left off and proceed with the job manager installation in the job manager 02 machine okay here we are here we have the three files previously copied and in this case i'm going to install the job manager and here we have these two elements the job manager is basically formed by these guys, the job manager and the job node, they're pretty self explanatory This manager is the program that will be handling the control of the different tasks along the network, how they will be assigned, how the concurrent nodes will get connected to the network. In the other hand, the job node is every single machine connected to the network and controlled by the job manager. Okay, let's install both of them in this case. We're going to install the job manager and the job node in this machine. It's not mandatory that the job manager must be installed in the same machine where the license manager is running. But in this case, I like to get uh, both of them centralized. Uh, both uh, license manager and the job manager, but it's not necessary that they share the same machine. They can actually, both of them can be, can be installed in any one, any machine uh, that we want in the network. The only requirement is that only one license manager and only one job manager must be installed in the whole network. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at the job manager. This is a program that is going to handle all of the tasks and exactly the same way as we provide the web interface for the license manager, we provide a web interface for the 
job manager. In this case, we have to uh, set the IP of the machine that is running the manager. Here is the job manager and here is my IP. And in this case, we're going to use the port 8080. And here you have, that's the web interface of the job manager. And let's launch the real flow job node. And you will realize that the node will arise here. Okay, here you have. This is the job manager and the job node. Here we have how the manager has found this node, both of them in the same machine. And in this case, we're going to pay attention to this part here. We're all going to use it for the real flow GUI preferences. Anyway, the uh, now this is properly settled and at this uh, moment uh, we have the job manager and the job node properly running in the network. I'm going to repeat these processes in the other machines in Nextlimit01 and in the Mac machine. In this case I'm going to install only the job node. I'm not going to run the job manager in this workstation. So only the job node has been installed. Here you have it. And we're going to do the same in the Mac machine. Track to applications. And here we have it. In this case, uh, both of them, job monitor and job note, are installed. Okay, back again in the workstation. Let me try into the spotlight the browser with the status of the license manager, but let's take a look at the job manager's web interface. We will launch the notes that we recently have installed. Remember, we have to set the same IP with the port 8080. Okay, so uh, I'm going to launch the job node and it, it will appear here. Here you have it. And at the same time, I'm going to launch the job node in the Mac. Okay. Here you have it. Okay, now I have the scenario of the three nodes uh, available in the network. And I'm going to make a quick text. We're going to bring back to RealFlow GUI, but we are going to set it up for working with the job manager we're going to file preferences job manager and if you haven't run with the job manager previously you will have to select this plugin here okay just have a click on it and uh, we have to set where is the manager located in this case we need to add the port that I commented you before that that we can find here. And the next step is really important if you are running with different operating systems, you are uh, mixing PCs with Linux with Macs you'll have uh, to set these path translation rules. Let's uh, take a look and see an example. We need to understand that we need these path translation rules 
to uh, define a networking path for the machine who is run that is running the license manager and and its CERN it will transfer to each one a uh, job node in the in the network so in this case uh, we have to set this sort of uh, translations these different paths uh, defined in with the specifications of each uh, operating system for for Linux for Windows in my case uh, we're going to use this path translation rules that you can see here and obviously you can add uh, additional paths if for instance if you have to call different machines or different volumes obviously you can add as many rows as as you want here in the web interface we only have to set the address where the job manager is running with the board ADAD as we know and if we go to layout job manager we will have this sort of browser here which is actually the same uh, web interface that we have in the browser just in the case if you uh, want to run the uh, web interface right inside RealFlow you can do it from here okay let's close and for this approach 